John grew up wanting to become a military pilot. He went up for a ride in a Yak-52 when he was eight years old and he was sold. Amber says her husband John Sachs made it his life goal to become a marine pilot. Fast forward two years later, I get a call saying they accepted me. I'm going to officer candidate school. I'm going to be in the Marines. The newlywed couple moving from state to state to begin the flight training process. And I was grateful that he chose me to be someone to share his life with. That was the best thing I would say that ever happened to me was getting to marry my best friend yeah. and getting to see him on this journey and moving around with him and getting to see him love what he did. In 2022, Sachs became a member of the Purple Foxes. The very first time he was able to give us a tour of that squadron and the first time he was able to put his Purple Fox patches on, that's that photo of him sitting on the back of the Osprey. That smile was genuine. It was huge. He couldn't contain it. We had just found out that we had our other daughter on the way, so he was just beaming with pride and joy. Just months later, on June 8th, Sachs and four other Marines were killed on board an MV-22 Osprey. When I opened the door, it was a feeling of my, like, I don't remember the thoughts crossing my head, but I remember the feeling, and it was just this feeling of, oh my God, like, this can't be real. This can't be happening. It would be over a year before Sachs and the other families learned what happened. The United States Marine Corps citing mechanical failures as the cause of the crash. When I heard this is what it was, during the briefing, I started switching gears to, but how? How did this happen? Like, we, we know what happened, but how? Amber, along with the four other families, are now calling on the manufacturers for answers. What is the information that's missing so that the Marine Corps, the Navy, uh, the Navy and the Air Force can all be confident in the future that these crashes are not going to happen again? Amber left picking up the pieces and staying strong for her two little girls. He's very much woven into every area of our lives and how much we love him and to continue to love him. And that will ever, ever go away. In Lincoln. Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. In honor of his memory, Amber launched the Captain Sachs Foundation offering aviation scholarships. She says that he loved being a Marine, an instructor, and a father.